friends. The land of Palestine is actually a very dusty land. There's not much here that I want. <coughs> How much? That'll be for 23. You good man. Yeah, I'm fine. Just a little cold is all. It looks worse than that, man. You sure you should have came in today? It's just allergies. My wife gave me some medicine and I feel fine. Are you gonna pay or not? David Barrows, Jonathan Shaw is on assignment. We apologize for our earlier coverage of the so-called Madison race riots. Reports coming in now indicate the violence is neither racially motivated nor restricted to the greater Madison area. What is certain is that this seemingly unexplainable mass hysteria continues to spread throughout the heartland with injuries reported to be in the thousands. What's that all about? No clue. But I did hear about people getting sick, so those two may be correlate. People getting sick? Thank you, Bill and Sis driving all over the place. People forgetting to wash their hands and shit. Now, I don't think it's a common cold type of sick. People have been going to the hospital cause of it. Now, if I'm going to the hospital only cause I have a fucking sore throat, I give home my back. If you think about it, if something becomes so widespread that a lot of fucking people have it, does that automatically make it common? People aren't just regularly going to the hospital or like a supermarket, so technically it's mystery sickness you're talking about has already become a common sickness. I hear that people are just throwing up on the streets. The homeless? Sure, you're being serious. It's not just the homeless, it's anyone who's infected. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm definitely not going to keep this place open for long, as soon as it's specific. I'm not risking it. I'm at close here. And it sounds right for times like this. I should take your advice and we'll just stay in and see if this war's over. I don't want to get sick today. This week or wherever. See you on. Likewise, man.
God's sake! Kamea should have shown up that day. Sir, your patient is ready in your office. We're getting way more people than normal, don't you think? Take me to them. I guess people just stop watching their heads. I've never seen so many seats filled up before. All right, sir, how are you feeling? Not good. I got a headache. Stomach hurts, but I don't need to use the restroom. My job feels funny and I just feel very weak. How long has this been going on for? When I got home from work, I just started feeling sick. It all went so fast. I tried taking medications. What medications did you take? Advil, Tylenol, mainly. I thought it would ease the pain, but it just does nothing. Have you ever had a history of seasonal allergies and conditions that can trigger easily? No. I have always kept track of my health. It must have been when I was at work or something. There was a lot of people sick, but for some reason, some still decided to come into work. I would have stayed home as soon as I felt wrong. I see. Well, my assistant will do some checkups on you and I will diagnose you with what's happening. Can we please just get with the diagnosis? I can barely sit still without being in pain. I know this must be hard for you, but please try to remain calm. These are strange symptoms to deal with, so hang in there. Finish up and we'll take him to an emergency room. Alright, just lay down for me, and we can- Oh my god, what do we do? I stay here. Good what? Lots of people are calling him sick. I need you. I'm not surprised. Seizing thinking, after all. Yeah, but like. People are going to the hospital for it. Of them even go crazy. There's no way the news would be all over it. Go to the break room. Turn on the TV. You will see. Actually, if you were messing with me just cause, I swear, why do you think that there's not that many people around the office? The layoff. You? There's hardly any people here, man. are getting reports from downtown that people are getting sick from a disease yet to be identified. So far, no one has been able to identify the origin of this mystery virus. Also appears that symptoms change for each person infected from not so critical effects such as headache, fever, mild cough, to almost hospitalizing conditions such as intense abdominal pain, muscle pain, and sudden internal hemorrhage. The CDC has yet to release any information regarding the disease as they have trouble identifying the viral strain. We are having trouble identifying where the virus originates from. It appeared also suddenly. Its DNA structure is always changing at a rapid pace. The only similarity we can place on it is that it could be an altered strain of Ebola. But it's also everything but Ebola. Symptoms can change based on person to person from dizziness and nausea to panic and aggression, but it all leads to one. Symptoms of this illness include coughing fits, a high fever, sweating, unusual sensitivity to light, and in Health experts have sounded the alarm, noting that this has pandemic potential. If the spread is not mitigated, then it could possibly start popping up in other states, and eventually other countries. Oh my god, I say, what did we do? Did we go home? Can we go home? I want to go home. Fuck this. Boss, you right. Oh my god. Hold on, sir. I'll call 911 for you. They can help. Oh fuck. Hold on, sir. They're coming. Hell no! I saw a man puke a little blood and he was bleeding from all the holes in his body. I am only meant to treat people with fucking allergies. Just be quiet. Let me focus while he's still alive. Do you have a sedative? Yeah, dude. Please don't make me do this. 
He's obviously rabid. We need to sit at him. I can't do anything while he's awake and thrashing. Once you do, you go. I know this must be hard for you. I can't believe you're actually making me do this. All right, now hold still. I got you now. We're gonna help you, don't worry. Steady, no. You have to get him in his vein. Holy shit, I'm fucked up. Get him off me. Get him off me. why you're just standing there. Help me down. No, no, it's... Oh my god! These people have all gone mad. I need to get out of here. The emergency lines are down. Shit, I can't call anyone. What the hell? Bust you right. Get the fuck away from me. What is going on over here? The bus has gone mad. I think he has that new sickness. Speaking of which, I was gonna ask him if I can have the rest of the day off because of it. Don't open that door. I don't know what to make of it, honestly. I don't know what to do. They say it's taken over most of the state already, but I don't know what to believe. I know I should get out of the city, but where would I go? Seattle. They have one there. Is that the one you're going to? They're fast, though. I don't have anything to protect myself out there. A gun store. I do live near one. I guess I could, but I've never shot a gun or killed a man. All right, I'll head to Seattle right now, then. I'll see you there, a okay? KO. Uh, All right, I, man, uh, be safe. Bye-bye. I've uh, got, uh, do we have those uh, rescue stations yet? Well, fine, then, please. I need, I need, uh, I need those rescue stations. Fine, you know what, fine, I'll get them. I'll this is absolutely unreal. Are we transmitting? Point the camera at me. Point it at me. Just, just roll. Okay. Things are out of control down below. The city of Los Angeles is like a war zone. These, these creatures, these zombies, or whatever the hell they are, are swarming the city. This is the best I can give you for your budget. Having a double barrel lets you use a more open choke for near targets and a tighter choke for distant targets, providing the optimal shot pattern for each distance. Consider the extra shells on the house. Due to certain circumstances, you are gonna need it, son. Thank you. I feel like the extra ammo will definitely come in handy. May I ask where are you headed with all this firepower? To the rescue station in Seattle. I'm gonna meet my brother there. He was spending the week with friends before all this started. I wish you luck, my friend. I heard they knocked out most of the station, so be quick. May God be with you. Thank you, and of course, you be safe too. I will, don't you worry. To leave immediately. The infected are dangerously close, you need to go. Back the claims up. Nevertheless, this virus is still very dangerous and it's spreading at an alarming rate. More school districts continue to follow the trend of closing until this epidemic subsides. Information about the military blockade around Seattle established last night. Nobody can enter or leave the city, and anybody attempting to do so will be arrested or met with lethal force. There's also a very deadly form of Ebola. Um, the fatality rate from these kind of viruses it, it, you know, ranges from somewhere between uh, 20 to 90 percent. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. They're getting slaughtered out there. I have to get out of here. Oh shit, oh fuck. I 
have to get the hell out of here. seen by them. There's a man going around taking names and he decides who to free and who to blame. Everybody won't be treated all the same. There'll be a golden reaching down. The hairs on your arm will stand up at the terror in each sip and in each sup. Will you partake of that last offered cup or disappear into the potter's ground when the man comes around? Hear the trumpets, hear the pipers. One hundred million angels singing. Multitudes are marching to the big kettle drum. Voices calling, voices crying. Some are born and some are dying. It's Alpha and Omega's kingdom come. The whirlwind is in the thorn tree. The virgins are all trimming their wicks. The whirlwind is in the thorn tree.